In this problem, we're told if you try to smuggle gold bricks by filling your backpack, whose dimensions are 56 centimeters by 28 centimeters by 22 centimeters, what would its mass be? So in order to solve this problem, there's a formula you should know, right? We're trying to solve for mass and we're given a volume. And so the formula you should know is density, or it's going to be the Greek letter rho, which kind of looks like a P. It's essentially equal to MV, right? So what this equation does, it relates mass, volume, and density, right? So if we go ahead and write down our given, what are we given? So we're given some dimensions of these gold or uh, dimensions of our backpack, right? And so our backpack is going to fill up with gold bricks. So essentially, we're just going to have some square, or it's not a square, but essentially we're going to have some rectangle, and it's going to be filled with gold bricks, right? So they're giving us the volume of these gold bricks, right, in our backpack, which we know is going to be 56 centimeters times 28 centimeters times 22 centimeters, right? Because notice it's essentially just length times width times height. Right, so essentially they're just giving us volume. Right, so we have V now. We're trying to solve for M, so we need the density, right? We need rho. And so rho, they don't tell you in the problem, but if you look in your textbook, they're gonna give you the density of different objects. Right, so the density of gold, if you look in your textbook, or you just look it up online, it's 19.3 times 10 to the three kilograms meters cubed. Right, so this is gonna be the units. So 19.3 times 10 to the 3 kilogram meters cubed is the density of our backpack full of gold, right? Because it's just made out of gold. So now what we want to do is solve for M, right? So we just want to get M by itself. If we multiply both sides by V, you're going to get M equals uh, the volume multiplied by uh, the density, right? Rho. And so what we can do now is notice how we can just plug it in. Or, well, we can't plug it in yet, but essentially realize... Um, this is going to be meters, right? So when we write this, it's going to be kilogram over meters cubed, but if we just plugged in centimeters here, it wouldn't cancel the units, right? So this needs to be in meters, because when we multiply this all together, it should become, well, right now it'd be centimeters cubed, but once we convert it into meters, it'll be meters cubed, and that'll cancel. And that's just going to give us kilograms, which is what we want, right? Because mass is measured in kilograms. So yeah, so we know how to convert to centimeters to meters. You just divide by 100 for every single one of them. So we can just go ahead and plug it in now, right? So 56 centimeters is just 0.56 meters times 0.28 meters times 0.22 meters right yeah so this is going to be in meters now so this is meters cubed and then we just multiply by the density which is 19.3 times 10 to the 3 uh, kilogram meters cubed and now uh, meters cubed is going to cancel with these three right because they just become meters cubed so essentially if you just do 0 0.56 times 0 0.28 times 0.22 and then multiply that by 19.3 times 10 to the 3, uh, you're going to get, it's going to be equal to about 670. So about 670 kilograms, if you round. So 670 kilograms, right, because we just have kilograms left. But yeah, so this is going to be your answer, right? So this is going to be uh, the mass of the backpack with the gold bricks, right, with these dimensions. But yeah, so 670 kilograms, that's your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.